everyone! Today I'm going to be making a Winnie the Pooh breastfeeding car seat cover. This is a super, super simple project, but the main thing that I really wanted to focus on was working with knit fabric. I myself am still learning to work with knits. I do have a serger, so I've done a few knit things and the serger was amazing for them, but I really wanted to learn how to do it on a regular sewing machine since that's what most people have. And all you're gonna need is a simple zigzag stitch on your machine. So most basic machines have this stitch. So for this project, the couple of things that you're going to need that are important is wonder tape and mine is one fourth inches wide. It comes in a variety of sizes. I would get a little bigger one if you could, like a three eighth or a five eighth inch width. And you will need a twin needle that is for stretchy fabrics or jersey fabric. These come in a variety of widths as well. So this is totally gonna to depend on your machine and the width of the stitches that you want. So starting off with just a basic tip, if your knit fabric starts to roll, which happens once you wash it usually, I'm going to grab some starch. And I love this Best Press Spray. It is definitely my go-to for any fabric that I wanna get wrinkles out of. So I'm just gonna spray the fabric and I'm gonna use my iron to iron out this edge and that really helps it from rolling up too much. It's not gonna be perfect, but it definitely is a lot better than rolling up about an inch and a half. And it will help me line out the edge of my fabric a lot better. So first thing, we're gonna cut our rectangle. So knit fabric usually is 60 inches wide, so we're not gonna to touch that, but we're gonna cut a 26 inch length. First thing we want to do is fold this in half lengthwise and I'm going to clip that open edge together, making sure it's as lined up as I can get it. On the other side with the fold, I'm just going to cut this in half so I have two pieces. From here, I'm going to fold my fabric again lengthwise, right in half. And I'm gonna clip up the top open edge so nothing moves while I'm working with it. I'm going to count 14 inches from the top and I'm gonna place a pin right on the edge there. And then I'm gonna count eight inches from the center fold and I will place another pin here as well. Now from where I placed the pins, I'm just gonna eye this and I'm gonna make a curve going from one point to the other. Doesn't have to be a super dramatic curve, but you can see that it's a curve nonetheless. Another quick tip is rotary cutters are actually better when working with knit fabrics. That way you're not moving the fabric too much while you're cutting. But if you have regular scissors, that's totally fine. But if you definitely plan to work with knit fabrics more often, I would definitely recommend picking up a rotary cutter. It will save you a ton of time and a big headache. I'm gonna open up these two pieces and on each piece, I'm gonna do a 3 8 inch seam allowance all around the four edges. So first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna remove my regular foot. If this is all you have, that is totally fine, but I have this plastic foot and plastic feet are gonna work the best against the knit fabric to keep it from getting stretched out and the other alternative, if you have it, is a walking foot, which looks like this crazy thing right here. But this is gonna move the fabric while it's sewing a lot better. So that way your fabric's not getting stretched out, which is something you definitely don't want when working with knit fabric. So this is meant to help move the fabric along a lot better. But I'm not gonna use this because most people don't have this one, but I will use my plastic foot. So I'm gonna attach my foot here. Now the settings for my machine originally start at a 5.0 width, but I'm gonna shorten this a little bit to a 3.0, and I'm just going to start sewing. If you're using a regular one, just make sure that you're sewing very slow. There are also other small tips and tricks like using tissue paper or even adding wonder tape to this, which I will show later on, will help everything sew a lot better with a regular foot. And this is something you're going to need to play around with before you start sewing. Just take a scrap piece of knit fabric, probably what we just cut off, 
a minute ago and just play with the width of the stitch so you get that nice even stitch without the pucker in the middle. I didn't have to lower it too much so just a small adjustment should be just fine. I'm gonna grab my wonder tape. So you'll see one side is sticky and I'm gonna stick this down lining up the top edge of the wonder tape with the top edge of my zigzag stitch. Once I get to the length I need, I'm gonna cut off the rest. Then I just go back and peel off that top layer of paper. So the other side should be sticky now. And I'm gonna fold it down along the bottom edge of the wonder tape. Now I'm gonna press it down so it's stuck nice in place. The second part, I'm just adding another strip because I wanted it a little wider, but if you have a wider wonder tape, you don't have to do this. All right, so we're gonna go and sew this edge down at a 1 4th inch seam allowance. And now we're gonna move on to using our twin needle. So I'm going to unscrew my original needle here and pull this one out. And then I'm gonna grab my twin needle and I'm gonna place that inside. And I'm gonna tighten it in as tight as I can get it. The way that we're gonna thread this is actually really easy. Thread your machine like normal. Make sure to go through that upper holding loop and we're gonna go put this thread through the right needle and then grab your second thing of thread, whether it's on a bobbin or another spool. You're gonna thread your machine the same exact way, except this one's not gonna go through that top loop before the needle. It's gonna hang out by itself and this is gonna go through the left needle. And that's basically it. It's definitely a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be because I know how intimidating it definitely looks. Just use a basic straight stitch while using this twin needle. No need to adjust any of the settings. So going to that top edge we're gonna stitch down, we wanna stitch this on the front of your fabric, not the back. And you'll see why in a minute. So I'm gonna line this up at the 1 4th inch seam allowance and I'm just gonna start sewing this down all the way across. So you can see the double stitch is gonna be on top. And when I flip it around, you'll kind of see this sort of line stitch. But now you have a nice finished edge. Go ahead and do this to the top of both of your pieces. Lay your two pieces right sides together. And I'm just gonna match up the top corners there. And then going to the sides, I'm gonna line up the sides using the seam allowance to help guide me a little better. And I'm gonna pin it all together. Do this to the other side as well. I'm gonna sew these two sides at a 5 8 inch seam allowance with the zigzag stitch. So once again, I'm going to remove my twin needle here and the extra thread and I'm gonna replace my original needle. The regular needle I am using is also a stretch fabric needle. You're just going to adjust your machine to the width that you adjusted earlier. And before I start, I'm gonna do a couple back stitches here so everything stays in place at those top edges where it's going to stretch the most apart. And I will continue sewing at a 5 8 inch seam allowance. So you can see here that I have a nice seam. When I go inside, you can see I've got a nice seam there as well. And the threads poke out just a tiny bit, but it's not a big deal. Going to the bottom edge, we're gonna hem this up. So I'm gonna open up my seam allowance and I'm once again going to grab the wonder tape and I'm gonna line that top edge of the wonder tape with the top edge of my stitch here. And I'm gonna do this all the way around, opening up the other seam allowance as well. Then I'm gonna remove the paper side and fold it up along that top edge of the wonder tape all the way around.
flip this whole thing right side out because remember that's how we want to sew it. And we're going to sew the bottom at a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Once again, switch back to your twin needle and go ahead and sew the whole bottom edge at your 3 8 inch seam allowance. Do a little back stitch at the end to make sure everything's held in place. And your hem is done. So you can definitely cut off any excess hangover fabric on the edge there to get as close to that stitch as you want and that way everything will still be nice and neat since it doesn't fray. So you don't really have to do much with it. And there you go, you have a brand new car seat breastfeeding cover. Like I said, super simple project. But I hope this makes you a little bit more knowledgeable working with knits, just doing the very, very basics, especially if you're a beginner. I will link a couple videos that I found when I was doing my research about knit fabrics. So I think that'll help out a lot. I'll leave those linked down below. If you don't have a baby yet or you're not pregnant, this will make a great baby shower gift. And it's so quick. You can definitely finish this in a couple of hours, if that. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not already. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye!